Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about speciation in evolution in conservation biology. Here mainly we will focus on and discuss on definition of speciation, causes of speciation, speciation process that is how does speciation occur and types of speciation. Now let us start from here. Speciation is a process of formation of new genetically independent organism called species through the course of evolution. Due to some of the factors such as uh, geographical barriers such as rivers, mountains, due to such barriers, reproductive isolation takes place. For example, organism of this place and thus of this place are geographically isolated which result in lack of gene flow from this area to this area and from this area to this area. And same is the case, same is the case on this mountain. Organism of this place and this place are geographically isolated and there is reproductive isolation which cause in speciation during the evolution of time they and the, they are now same and during the evolution of time these two organisms become distinct species as they are differently adapted in different environmental condition in short origin of new species from pre-existing species they are evolved from pre-existing species. It requires disruption of gene flow and evolution of reproductive isolation mechanism. The speciation is not typically a product of natural selection, but some kind of geographic or biologic accident. Speciation causes. Speciation causes as a result of several factors, which are natural selection, it was described by Charles Darwin. Uh, he, he had done experiment on finches in Galapagos Island and during that I found a difference in body size, color, beak length or shape of the finches and second one is genetic drift genetic drift or uh, change in occur due to the change in allele frequency in a population and third one is migration due to migration also speciation occurs uh, here i want to give one example let us assume a population of early fox this is the population of early fox Now they spread to the northwest and southwest. They were separated, and now this is northern population and this is southern population. Here is environmental condition is distinct. Northern place is cold and southern is hot. And from this, Arctic fox were evolved during the course of time and from this grey fox were evolved here northern foxes were now adapted to cold and they have heavier for short years but southern Fox doesn't have thick fur, they have thin fur. Now they to become distinct species and they too cannot meet each other. And another one is chromosomal mutation. Due to chromosomal mutation, genes are restricted to flow from one individual to another, which causes speciation, and another is natural causes. Some events, uh, some natural causes cause speciation 
uh, they may be due to oh, environment like river, mountain range, etc. This cause isolation of organism and finally this cause speciation and, and there is a reduction in gene flow uh, due to some of the physical uh, or geographical barriers such as a river this is a geographical barrier and due to mountain there is a reduction of gene flow from this area to this area and there is reduction in gene flow from this area to this area so this causes speciation now speciation process first step is isolation of population The process of speciation begins with the isolation of population such as river or mountain they will um, population will isolate uh, and now second one is divergence in trait of separated population as they are separated for a long period of time now they become different and distinct they become different individual this will be different and this will be different and as a result reproductive isolation of population that maintain isolation this is the world uh, when population come in contact again now they are isolated now they cannot reproduce and mate this Isolation cause uh, genetic uh, differentiation and this cause slight change in uh, mating system uh, such as shape, uh, change in the shape of male genitalia and or some change in habitat or uh, feeding habit of subpopulation which cause reproductive isolation. Eventually, uh, genetic differentiation between the subpopulation become high and uh, this cause formation of hybrid um, then uh, they cannot miss meet uh, with each other and this uh, cause speciation in organism now let us talk about type of speciation uh, they are allopatric speciation peripatric speciation parapatric speciation and sympatric speciation first one is a parapatric sorry allopatric allopatric speciation occur mainly due to geographic isolation which leads to reproductive isolation due to geographic isolation organism of this place and this place are physically isolated and due to this they are they are reproductive there is reproductive isolation too they cannot meet with each other and there is lack of gene flow from this area to this area so this causes speciation in organism so allopatric speciation occur allopatric speciation occurs to geographic isolation plus reproductive isolation it is based on the concept that new species arise when some physical geographical barrier divides the large population of species into or small population. Here is a small demonstration uh, which will make us easy to understand. Uh, here is original population and they are separated due to some barriers like river or it may be mountain or other and after a long period of time organism of this place are adopted in this place and organism of this place are adopted in this place and they become different trait and finally they become reproductive reproductive isolation occur as a result reproductive isolation occur and they cannot meet with each other and finally they become new species One, of, one example of allopatric speciation is Darwin's finches, uh, which was done in Galapagos Island. Now, peripatric speciation. Peripatric speciation is a special condition of allopatric speciation 
which occurs when the size of isolated subpopulation is small. Among the population, when a small group of population is isolated, then it causes peripatric speciation. In this case, in addition to geographic separation, genetic drift also play an important role as genetic drift act more quickly in small population. The small population may take some rare genes which upon reaching to new geographical region become fixed over a course of few generations as a result of genetic drift. A genetic drift occurs due to fluctuation in number of genes between the population. In this case, in addition to geographic separation, genetic drift also play an important role as genetic drift act more quickly in small population. There will be more fluctuation of genes uh, in small population. Uh, example of peripatric speciation, the Australian bird Teriuca multicolor and, and there is Culex pipiens that is mosquito. Here is demonstration that clarify that that clarify our concept that is original population there will be ge geographical isolation this isolation is so small and so here genetic drift takes place that is there is fluctuation of gene and finally speciation takes place now let us look at parapatric speciation Parapatric speciation is a mode of separation in which there is no extrinsic barrier such as a river, mountain, these are not the barriers between the population but the large geographic range of population causes the individual to meet with neighboring individual than with the individual in different part of geographical range. Uh, parapatric speciation occurs due to uh, greater uh, geographical range so that individual uh, of uh, this area um, and individual of this area are isolated or there is no gene flow between um, these two population as a result during the evolution of time they become different traits or they become different um, their behavior changes and as a result and due to natural selection um, they are they will adapt to different environment and they will have certain genes and as a result speciation takes place in this case the population is continuous it is continuous that means there is not any barrier it is continuous if there is barrier it wouldn't be continuous it would be uncontinuous now it is continuous but the population doesn't meet randomly being continuous also due to large geographical area here population doesn't meet randomly here genetic variation occur as a result of reduced gene flow due to the reduction in gene flow genetic variation occur um, this occur in population which is distributed over a large geographical range thus the individual in far west cannot meet with the individual in far east region through a few generations, new species might be formed within the existing population. Here we can take example of Arctic fox also. Early fox population is spread uh, northwest and southwest. Uh, here we will have northern population and here is southern population and from here Arctic fox, uh, fox were evolved and from here Grey fox were evolved. Now they become distinct uh, species um, as there is a uh, different environmental condition. They will adapt uh, in cold environment so they will have fur in their body, they will have short ears but they don't have fur in their body. Here example is a small a grass species of Anthoxanthum odoratum. Now let's talk about Sympatric speciation. Sympatric speciation is the process of formation of new species from an original population that are not geographically isolated. This also occurs uh, 
this also doesn't occur due to geographical isolations like river, mountains, etc. Sympatric speciation is the evolution of new species from single ancestral species while living in same ha habitat. They live in same habitat, their ancestor is same, but they will be or they will be distinct species. It occurs rare in nature. Mainly it occurs more in plant, but in case of animal, it is rare. One type of sympatric speciation involves crossbreeding of two related species to produce a new hybrid. When two related species are crossbreed, then hybrid species is produced. This is not common in animal as hybrid, hybrid animals are usually sterile. And this is because during meiosis, the homologous chromosomes are from different species and cannot successfully pure uh, due to uh, due to uh, homologous chromosomes are from different species. Uh, they cannot uh, pure, so this is this case is rare in animals. However, it is common in plant because plant often double their number of chromosomes to form polyploid. Sympatric speciation often occurs through polyploidy or diploid individual cannot interbreed with tetraploid individual leading to reproductive isolation. As diploid organism or diploid individual cannot interbreed with tetraploid organism, this causes a reproductive isolation. An example of such speciation is when the plant species Arabidopsis thaliana and Arabidopsis arenosa crossbreed to give a new species Arabidopsis suchica. Another example is apple maggot. An insect that lays its egg inside the fruit of apple causes it to rot. And these are the examples. Of sympatric speciation. Uh, here is a demonstration that clarify our concept. Uh, here is our original population and here polymorphism occurs that means uh, they begin to behave different, they begin to adapt differently so they become different traits so there is a reproductive isolation within the population and this cause speciation. And here is a uh, example of allopatric speciation and sympatric speciation. Uh, this occurred due to barrier, but here is no any barrier. Uh, they occur within the uh, same geographical area. Thank you.